Hey everybody in Giants Nation, put the mouse down. Uh, today's video, we are going to be talking about a, um, this has not come up, it's not a rumor, it's pure speculation on my part. Um, it's, would the Giants trade Golden Tate? Um, I don't think they would release him because they would want some, I would think that they would want some type of draft, um, compensation. So I think... I think what's he 32 years old now here's my my reasoning behind the speculation of Tate being a potential trade suitor for another for another team um, I, I think the first four watching him on the field he is still a serviceable slot receiver he is not an outside threat, in my opinion. Um, I think he's a little full of himself. There is, you have a dynamic in the building now with Saquon Barkley, who is the face of the New York Giants, that he gets a touchdown. He may point a finger and say he's gone, but he runs into the end zone. And there were a couple times this year where Tate, he, 676 yards, 6 touchdowns. Really good. He missed 4 games. Awesome. And, I mean, that's with a rookie quarterback. But, there are a couple times this year where he's running into the end zone. And, like, he slows down and turns around. There were guys within a couple yards for him. And if he turns around the wrong spot and they slap that football out of his hand, that's a fumble. I mean... Granted, the team was bad. It's a bad team. Um, but I don't think you're going to get, like, maybe a third for him. But if you can get a fourth-round pick, it would be it would be good. A third-round pick would even be better. I don't think anybody's going to give a third for a 32-year uh, receiver. But a fourth-round pick, possibly, maybe a fifth. I mean, the... the you can get really good depth in the late rounds. And the one thing that Gettleman has at least proved is that he know he he has an eye and a nose for drafting. Um, I think Zimenez could have a breakout year this year. Um, Lorenzo Carter could have a breakout year this year with the proper coaching. It all comes boils back down to the coaching. And if the coaching is good, then the players are going to respond to what is need what needs to be done on the field. So Golden Tate comes into play. You have I still say you need a wide receiver. Whether you pick that up in, in free agency, um, or, or 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 the draft. The free agency is going to dictate the dictate the draft more than people think. Giants go out and get Jack Conklin. Are they going to draft a tackle in the first round? They potentially could because Solder is not good there. But do they need to draft him at one? Can they get a left tackle at, in, at the second round? I'm not saying go wide receiver first, but the, the draft is very full of depth. For wide receiver. So you can get a good wide receiver. I mean, hell, Slayton was a fifth round pick and he's going probably going to be the number one. Um, I still say, I don't think Shepard is, is a one. I think Slayton's a one. And what is the point of having two slot receivers? Because Golden Tate is a slot receiver and Sterling Shepard is a slot receiver. Keep Shepard in the slot so he can kill him in the middle kill him the little drags and the slant routes and the dig routes and all those routes um, with, a, with a healthy please Evan Engram be healthy um, that's going to take a linebacker out so a healthy Shepard and Engram in the middle um, is going to be a good thing for uh, formations but then that, that leaves the question of who do you have on the other um, for the other wide receiver I don't think Golden Tate is that receiver. I think he's too cocky. I think he's full of himself. And he's 32 years old. He's bound to fall off. 
Um, but who do you go after? Would, uh, AJ Green? He's 30. He's probably going to want 18 mil a year, maybe more, for a 30 year old wide receiver. He's a good. He, He's a good wide receiver. You're not going to know. He sat out all last year. He's not going to forget how to play the game. But I just I just don't think Tate is the answer. Could we... Could we trade up? Could we trade back? Like, what, let's say, with a team like the Jacksonville Jaguars who have the 9th and the 20th. And pick a C.D. Lamb or a Jerry Judy. That, that, I mean, it's a possibility. A, a true number one or two wide receiver. Slayton paired with... Slayton paired up with OBJ. I mean, God. The possibility that could be there with a, with a mobile Daniel Jones. But we're not going to get into that. But you, you still need that type of receiver. And Jerry Judy could be like... He could be like an OBJ. I guess that's just a wishful thinking having a Judy but again I just I don't think Tate is the answer at a wide receiver on the outside I mean there's only are you going to be swapping Shepard and, and Tate in and out I don't care what you just paid I mean you, you traded away OBJ and he had a lot more penalty with his bonus and you paid him a lot more money so if you trade him away, you need to get as much draft capital as you can. They're not going to spend a lot in free agency. If you're a Giants fan, the the biggest pickup I can remember in the past, oh man, I don't even know how many years, would probably be Plaxico Burst was a big one. Uh, Janoris Jenkins. Ogletree was a trade, but I don't think Ogle, Ogletree is at nearly what he um, could be capable of. I think Ogletree's too slow at middle linebacker, which is my opinion. Um, they, they, they have to focus on... I understand that they have to be able to throw the ball, so you need that left tackle. I just think the more draft capital you have, the better. They're not going to spend a lot of money in free agency. It's just been the giant tradition. Not to, They will go out and spend money on your middle class guys and pass up the really high key. I mean, it's just giant. It would be great if they went out and got somebody like a Jadavion. That would be cool. I don't see it happening. So, that's just my thoughts. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Um, comments. Subscribe. What? 10 subscribers. Pretty cool. I like that. And hit the like button. Thanks for watching.